Hi everyone and welcome to session two of the Flipped Teacher Professional Learning. In this video we're going to be looking at how to access the Google Apps for Education suite of web apps. First of all you obviously need to go to your Department of Education portal and log in uh, so that you can access your essentials. So we'll log in now, wait for the page to load. So this is the basic portal um, that you all will all see. Obviously the type of icons, the number of icons that will appear in this section of your page will vary according to your role within the school and how long you've been teaching. Uh, we are looking for this icon here, uh, Google Apps with uh, two circles interlinked. If you have that there, excellent. If not, let's have a look at how to add it. So we need to come down here uh, to My Learning Tools. Click on that for me and that will bring up the list of the learning tools that the Department of Education has made available. Scroll down uh, until you come across the G, um, the list of G's, Google Apps. Now on the right here, if you don't have Google Apps already showing in your essentials, there will be a link here that says Add to My Essentials, as there is for Microsoft Office down here. What you need to do is click on that. I'll do that for Microsoft Office. Click on that and that will add the, that link into your essentials. So if we come back up to the top, you can now see that I've got Google Apps there, which I already had, but I've now added Microsoft Office 365 to my list of essentials. So that's step one. The next thing that we want to do is have a brief look at what is available to us within Google Apps for Education. So click on Google Apps, the icon, and it will open up another tab. Now it may ask you to log in, uh, or it may not, depending on whether or not you've accessed it before. If it does ask you to log in uh, with a username, with an email address and password, it is asking for your Department of Education ID number, and then instead of adding at det.nsw.edu, you need to add at education.nsw.gov.au. And utilizing that email address, you'll be able to log into your Google Apps for Education simply by visiting the Google website and signing in that way. So to start off with, this is the list or this is the range of available apps. Uh, within the Google Apps for Education suite. The first, uh, the first column available to us are the range of apps that are available that allow you and your students to collaborate and to present. Uh, Google Drive is an online storage system. Gone are the days of carting around thumb drives and floppy disks um, and sharing your files with each other that way. Students can now share documents with each other via Google Drive. Google Docs is the equivalent of uh, Microsoft Word. Google Sheets is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel. Slides is the equivalent of Microsoft PowerPoint. Google Classroom is an online system for making available uh, learning activities and learning resources to your students. Uh, it also allows you to set and to receive assignments and to mark those assignments online. Uh, Google Sites allows you to create a website. This could be useful if you want to create a class web page. This is simply a link to the Google, uh, Google Plus community. Blogger allows you to create a class blog. Uh, and the photos is simply a way of organizing your photos. The middle section here uh, is labeled organized. And it's fairly obviously a, uh, a way of allowing you to organize things. So there's a calendar, contact list, uh, and a bookmark system. And the right-hand side is all about um, investigating with access to news, uh, books, custom search engines, finance, uh, and Google Maps, including not only Google Maps, but Google Map Maker, uh, allowing you to add uh, locations and items of interest to Google Maps. Uh, the primary one that we want to look at, um, that we will be looking at over the next few videos, is the left-hand column, the Collaborate and Present. Uh, I would encourage you uh, over the next few weeks in between videos to explore through these different apps. Uh, you can't break anything, uh, but I would encourage you to explore, have a bit of a play uh, and see what you can find out. Uh, feel free to talk to other staff members 
uh, or if you're active on the Twitter uh, and you have a professional learning network uh, via Twitter, I would encourage you to talk to other teachers that way as well, uh, or the Google Plus community. Uh, so this is how we access the Google Apps for Education system through the portal. I will also show you how to access it just through Google itself. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to close this one down. I want to log out of my department portal. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to do a search for Google, Google Drive. Now Google Drive, as I mentioned before, is the online storage system. Uh, that allows you to share files uh, with colleagues and with, uh, with your students. And this is the starting point. So if we go to Google Drive, click on the Go to Google Drive button. Eventually it will uh, take you to Uh, for me, it's taken me straight in. Obviously, this is my home computer. Um, but if I sign out, it will allow me to show you what the login page looks like. So I'm going to show you now how to access Google Drive uh, without going through the Department of Education portal. Uh, we can simply go to drive.google.com and that will take us to the starting page for Google Drive. Just waiting for the internet to load up. Now here you see the standard login page. Now I mentioned before that you can sign into Google Apps for Education utilizing the at education email extension. So all we do is we type in our normal Department of Education ID. So I'm going to type mine in here, but instead of at det.nsw, we write, we type at education.nsw.gov.au and we click next. Now this takes us to the Department of Education portal. Because our at education email accounts are managed via the Department of Education, we do need to log in again. Uh, we do need to log in again so that Google uh, is able to provide us access. Now you just log in with your normal ID here, as you would normally when you're trying to get into your portal. The system will then process the request and it will load you into your Google Apps for Education account. So you can see up the top here um, the, is the Department of Education and Communities, the old logo, the old DEC logo. That tells me that I'm in my school-based account, my education-based Google account. And you'll be able to see all of the features of normal Google Drive, but these are the ones specifically for your at education account. Now that is a lot to process. I will come back to this um, in later videos. Now I would encourage you to explore through the different Google Apps for Education um, through the Department of Education portal. Uh, you cannot break anything. Please keep that in mind. You cannot break anything at all. Um, Ask, feel free to ask me some questions through the week via email, uh, via Twitter, via comments on the blog or via the comments on YouTube. Uh, but until next time, take care.